continuation of words of the mother one believes he has his own way of thinking not at all it depends totally upon the people one speaks with or the books he has read or on the mood he is in it depends on whether you have good or bad digestion it depends on whether you are shut up in a room without proper ventilation or whether you are in the open air it depends whether you have a beautiful landscape before you it depends on whether there's a sunshine or a rain you are not aware it of aware of it at all but you think all kinds of things come completely different according to a heap of things which have nothing to do with you and for this to have a coordinated coherent logical thought a long thorough work is necessary and then the best of business is that when you have succeeded in making a beautiful well formed very strong very powerful mental construction the first thing you must be told is you must break this so that you may can unite with the divine but as long as you haven't made it you cannot unite with the divine because you have nothing to give it to the divine except a mass of things which are not yourself one must first exist in order to be able to give oneself i am repeating what i've said again one must first exist in order to be able to give oneself truly in the present state of the world the only thing one can give the divine is one's body but that's what one doesn't give him Yes you can once try to consecrate one's work but still there are so many elements which are again not true you want to merge your body in the divine huh just try how are you going to do this you can merge your mind you can merge your vital you can fuse all your emotions all your aspirations fuse all of that but your body how are you going to do that you are not going to melt it in a boiling point and then mother laughs and yet it is the only thing about which you can say with certitude it is and give a name to it and yet your name is a convention but still you are in a habit of calling yourself by a certain name this is i you look at yourself in a mirror and all the what uh, you were 20 years ago is very different from what you are now it is very unrecognizable still something makes you say all the same all the same all the time yes it's this me this is i Yes, I am so and so. Peter, Louis, Jack, Andre, whoever it may be. Again, a silence. And even this, if one were to look at oneself, even every seven years, all the cells are changed. It is only a kind of habit that remains the same. Does it remain the same? Do you have the photographs of the time when you were young, and the photographs when you were ten and twelve or thirteen? It is because one very much wants to do so that one recognizes oneself. Otherwise, truly, one is not at all the same. When you were of this height, and when you are of this height, it's considerably a difference. So there you are. all this it is not order to swamp you that i tell you all this but it is only in order to tell you that before you speak of merging one's ego and the divine you must first know a little of what one is the ego is there its necessity is that you become conscious independent beings individualized i mean in the sense of independent that you may not be a public square your mind should not be a public square where everything goes criss cross that you might exist in yourself that is why there is an ego it is like that that is why also there is a skin so truly even physical forces pass through the skin there is a vibration which goes a different distance but still it is the skin which prevents us from blending into another but everything else must be like that again a silence and then later one offers all this to the divine years of work are needed you are must you are you must not only and then mother's silent become conscious of yourself conscious in all details but one must organize what you call yourself around the psychic center the divine center of your being so that it would be a, make a single coherent fully conscious being being and this divine center is in itself already consecrated mother makes a gesture of offering entirely to the divine if everything is organized harmoniously everything is consecrated to the divine and so when the divine thinks it proper when the time has come when the work of individualization is complete then the divine gives you the permission to let your ego merge in him to live henceforth only for the divine but it is the divine who takes this decision you must first 
have done all the work become a conscious being solely and exclusively centered around the divine and governed by the divine and after all that there is still an ego because it is the ego which serves to make you an individual but once this work is perfect fully accomplished then at that moment you may still tell the divine here i am i am ready do you want me and the divine usually says yes all is over everything is accomplished and you become a real instrument for the divine's work but first the instrument must be consecrated you think you are sent to a school you are made to do exercise all this just for the pleasure of vexing you Oh no it is because it's indispensable for you to have a frame in which you can learn how to know yourself if you did your work of individualization of total formation by yourself all alone in a corner nothing at all would be asked of you but you don't do it you won't do it that there's not a single child who would do it he wouldn't even know how to do it where to begin if a child were not taught to how to live he wouldn't live he wouldn't know how to do the thing i don't want to speak about dis- distinguishing details but even the most elementary things he wouldn't do properly if he were not taught how to do them therefore one must be taught step by step that is to say if everyone had to go through the whole experience needed for the formation of an individuality he would be long dead before having begun to live this is the advantage of those who have accumulated through centuries who have had the experience and tell you well if you want to go quickly to know in a few years what has been learned through centuries read this or do this read learn study in the material world and you will be able to taught or you will be taught to do this in this way and that way and this again and mother gestures once you know a little you find your own method if you are a great genius but first you must first stand on your own feet know how to walk it is very difficult to learn it all alone it is like that for everyone one must form oneself therefore one needs to be educated there we are to a child do you have anything is there anything someone wants to ask anything no all right we will stop it here